get out of my road. <laughs> this is scared the spiders. Yeah. And he's parked. Just a little bit of video footage to see where it started. This is probably going to have a fairly radical makeover. So just seeing what it looked like originally before we started hacking up the frame. Although I think the front has already been modified. I don't think this model, the 308, came with an adjustable front. Where it pivots here in the middle, I don't think it had that. And it doesn't have much adjustment even when it can pivot this is the deck that was on it normal 38 inch deck There we have it. Just a little bit of footage before I start to pull it apart. There are the motors that will be going in. Just pulled the battery down to there, obviously. Get in that spot. Ready to start taking it apart. The motors are roughly in place. They're a little bit closer than I would like and what I'm going to do is try to move this whole wheel assembly when I make the new frame. Move the whole wheel assembly out this way. I'll probably have to take this wheel off so uh, I can get the tyre off when needed. Which will allow me a little bit more width between the motors and a little bit more distance from the engine to the motors when it's in place. One thing worth mentioning is that with the wheelchair the reduction is already in the gearbox it's mounted at the bottom of the motor and the rider mower used a massive pulley on that end and a real small pulley on this end to get the gear reduction but I don't need a massive amount of gear reduction because there's already plenty of gear reduction in that motor or in the gearbox I should say what I'll probably wind up doing is having to take this apart and take these cogs off and I'll ballpark so it's probably about three or four to one I'm still going to be reduced by three to four to one which obviously will increase torque but it's going to decrease the speed but it should be good enough Probably one of the next things I need to do is start getting that apart. The gearbox is mostly apart. And then these are the sprockets I was planning on using, but as you can see they are quite thin when you compare them against the one that's on the wheel. And when I spin that round, there's a pin in one of these guys, just here, like a, a roll pin. But it doesn't go all the way through, so that's going to be awfully hard to get out. And then I would have to adapt it to the shaft there. So what might be easier is just to buy a cog, drill these five holes, and just bolt it on. Might be the simple solution. Last night I stripped down the wheels and did a little bit more cleaning on the frame and I, the bearings in here are not particularly flash they're okay but obviously while I've got a, 
this part far apart I may as well put some new bearings in it uh, these cogs are a little bit worn on these on the teeth on the side here and the same on the other side I think it's mostly through misalignment on the chain because it only seems to be worn actually it just seems to be worn on the inside there I was thinking about reducing the size of those guys but um, it seems now I will actually need that full diameter so it's a good thing I didn't start cutting and doing anything on them I've started cutting off some of the frame braces here which some of those pieces are here some tabs and pieces of steel that came off there those guys obviously from there I was trying to take off this motor plate but uh, that's going to be prove a little bit more difficult than first thought because I thought it was just going to be four simple welds and then just flip the plate off but they've welded underneath under here and they've also welded up right up in one of these corners I think it's this corner up here no just in here just in there so that's going to be quite hard to get in there with a the grinder with this piece in place so I'm probably going to have to get a little bit rough with that um, also thinking I'll probably probably chop possibly even chop these guys all the way Let's see if I can get in there may even chop these guys out here um, or this piece and sort of cut through these or go around these welds because originally I thought I wasn't going to be able to take off the bearings so, but this whole hub will come off and the bearings will be in it so I'm not going to distort these so I could re-weld this piece that round bar back into a new frame as needed or just buy a new uh, piece of straight bar like that and then fit the hubs on it just turn down the ends as required so we'll see what happens with that but this is where we're up to now and I think this will do as the end of part one of this video